everyone and welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be talking about what team i think Brody grinder should sign with in free agency so without further ado let's get straight into it so i know there's been a lot of rumors and theories about what team Brody grundy will sign with a lot of teams obviously offer offering him and trying to offer him the really the big bucks when it comes to you know his value he is a very good player and in my opinion i think a lot of people would agree if you were to talk about the best ruckman in the actual rock, you'd probably say Max Gorn, but like pretty much any other, you know, thing around the ground, you know, kicking, goal kicking, hand passing, you know, assisting, all that type of stuff, you'd have to say Brody Grundy. So in like all in all, I think that Brody Grundy is probably the best ruckman in the AFL. And obviously teams have definitely recognized that and a lot of teams are actually trying to persuade him to join them. And I think that it's definitely going to be an intro, um, a, a bit of an interesting one if it carries out through the rest of the season. But I do believe Brody Grundy will most likely sign with Colling, um, re-sign with Collingwood. I can't really see Brody Grundy leaving, but then again, he is actually from South Australia, so if he were to leave to anyone, I think you can automatically rule out Port Adelaide, considering they have. Um, Scott Lysett and Paddy Ryder, and obviously there's a lot of problems with Port Adelaide at the moment, considering obviously they got, you know, Paddy Ryder, Scott Lysett, and then they'll have Charlie Dixon to come back into the team, then you'll have a bunch of bigs into the team, and then it, you kind of, you can't, like, you kind of think of it, where does Westhoff really fit into this, obviously Westhoff can play rock, he can play forward, he can also play back, it seems, but I think everybody everybody sees him as a forward that can pinch into the ruck, but you could also see Charlie Dixon pretty doing, you know, a similar thing to that. So if you have four players that could potentially play ruck on the field, you know, that are tall enough to play ruck, it kind of causes a lot of problems there already. And if Brody Grundy were to join Port Adelaide, let's just say he did, that would be five players that would cause so much headache and it would just legit be... Their team would be way too tall, and I think they would definitely struggle throughout the season. The other team that I think is a massive possibility for Brody Gun um, Grundy to join is obviously the Adelaide Crows. I think the Adelaide Crows are obviously probably the most overrated team in the AFL, and I think you guys can probably agree with me on that one. I said they would finish 12th to 18th, um, but a lot of people actually had them in the top four. A lot of people had them in the top eight. All the expert commentators pretty much said that, and I, I was thinking... I think you guys are overrating the Adelaide Football Club, like, a lot, like, definitely overrating them, and basically, I was right, and they've started 1-3, and three, but I do think we'll probably get the win over Gold Coast, but, you know, it, you never really know, and, yeah, as, as the time of this recording, they are 1-3, and three, and uh, definitely probably the most overhyped team in the AFL, but... You know, I think that Brody Grundy going to Adelaide is still a possibility. Obviously, at the time he's recording, Sam Jacobs is currently injured. And who knows how much footy he's got left in him. I also think coming into the season, he was pretty overrated. A lot of people were saying he's a top five Ruckman. Is he? Most likely not. I don't even know if he's in the top 10 anymore. He seems to just, you know, get the hit outs, but doesn't really do that much around the ground. I think a lot of you guys can agree with me on that one. So getting a young player like Brody Grundy, who will be turning 26 soon, um, into your club in basically replacement of Sam Jacobs, or unless you want to play him at the same time, is definitely a bold strategy, and I think could work out, and I think that Adelaide could try, and they obviously have the cap, but yeah, if I was Adelaide, I'd probably just start rebuilding at this point, because I think that a lot of their players are past their prime, and I definitely think a lot of you guys would agree with me. So, I do believe that Brody Grundy will most likely re-sign with Collingwood on a massive deal. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're, that pr pretty much means they won't have enough cap to sign any other big-name free agents or anything like that. And I got a friend who actually goes for Collingwood that believes if Brody Grundy would leave their side, they would definitely be in a lot of trouble. And I think if Brody Grundy was on your team and would have left any team in the AFL, really... It's a big hole to fill, and yeah, I definitely think, though, that Brody Grundy will resign, but if he was to sign with another team, I think it would be Adelaide, and I think you can automatically, basically, rule Port Adelaide out of it, because, yeah, they've got way too many bigs, and I just can't see it really working out, and yeah, but anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section down below and tell me what team do you guys think Brody Grundy will sign with in free agency? 
Do you think he will re-sign with Collingwood? Or do you think he'll go and sign with Adelaide or Port Adelaide or even another team for that matter? If you guys have any ideas, I'd definitely really like to know. So make sure you guys comment in the comment section down below. Also, go subscribe to my gaming channel and my vlogging channel slash IRL channel. Link in the description down below. So make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Comment in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my other channels. Link in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.